Hello, my name's Zach and welcome to Ashley School's Design for Change Conference 2013. I'm going to be looking forward to like being inspired in a way about how the Design for Change project works. Hearing everyone's different stories of change and how they've helped and changed something that they feel bad about in their community. Design for Change is founded by Kiran Birosetti. In 2009, she basically run a project in, in her school, Riverside School in India. Now we have 38 countries around the world who are running DFC. And UK, Taiwan, a lot of countries are part of it. Well, Design for Change, as far as I'm concerned, is about uh, allowing children to feel empowered to, to make changes for themselves, to drive change in their own way. We talked about um, rubbish that is being left on our school fields, so we decided that if we could put the rubbish back in the bin. On the water fountain, we see like loads of dirty things around it, and we thought we could imagine um, the clean water in the water fountain, and uh, we don't really like it. It's very easy for children to feel that they have to follow the rules, that everybody else makes the rules, and so by the time they've left school, potentially they've never really had the experience of making important decisions and showing that they can lead that change. The most important message is to say, I can, and to feel empowered. Mr. Kendall is the ambassador for Design for Change. I, I suggest that uh, as long as uh, we have the heart, nothing is impossible. As long as we have the heart, yeah, I think it's very important. When did you start doing these handstands? Uh, three years ago years ago, from uh, 2010. Where's the most dangerous place you've done a handstand? Okay, it's hard to say because every picture uh, has different story in it. Yeah, so it's very hard to say which picture I, I like most. Yeah. Can you try a handstand for us later? Yeah, sure, yes. One of the quotes um, by uh, Mahatma Gandhi was be the change you wish to see in the world and that's what I firmly believe in. Some people in the world don't have any water to drink or, and, um, yeah, and so like, pollution. Yeah, we've done like drawings of the rainforest and we've added some like water creatures and animals. Uh, what inspires you to do this project? What we did, what me and my buddy Yos did, it's called Cycle for Water. So what we did is we cycled 30,000 kilometers on bamboo bicycles from the top of the earth, a place called Dead Horse in Alaska, to the bottom of the earth, Antarctica. The reason why we did this is because we want to raise awareness and funds for the one billion people on earth that don't have access to clean drinking water. So if we do design for change, then lots of um, bad things will turn into good things and that will be a good thing to do in the world. Then we're going to draw um, good like, things on it. Like, like, like vegetables and people. And, and like, people doing good things. What has been the highlight of today for you? I think seeing all of the children so excited and, and involved in this and just thinking about the fact that they can make a change even if it's a small change. Why is Design for Change important for young people today? Because if young people don't invest and take part in what happens in their life, then they're not going to 
respect or, or feel responsible or care about what's happening. I think that all young people need to feel that they have decisions and that they can change things for the better and then everyone cares for each other and, and for our planet. I enjoyed Mr. Candleby because I love doing handstands. <laughs> I like Mr. Candle as well because he, he gave us some influence about never giving up and achieving your dreams. However big or small a dream is, you can do it if you put your mind to it. I think I've really enjoyed the sharing of everybody's ideas. It's been a, a really creative day with lots of variety and, uh, and all, sorts, all sorts of things to share. Definitely try, because it's really good fun and like it's good to watch like, videos and then you can change things and it's, when you do it, it's really good fun and then sharing it with people and then other people can find out about it and then other people can do it too. We hope you've enjoyed the programme and we really look forward to hearing about some of your Design for Change projects.